how to run these custom spray mods. Now today, I'm gonna to go over painless dent removal. Okay, so I've got my hands on one of these paintless dent removal kits. You can get these online pretty easily. It comes with a few different tools to basically pull dents out. So it basically works off the, um, the premise that you glue certain tabs onto the dents and then use these uh, pullers to pull the dent out um, once it's glued on and the glue's dried. Um, this is supposed to pull the dent out and um, basically then you, your dent repair is out without damaging the paint. So um, yeah, uh, I've got the set and I've got this daily car that I've been driving. It's a Toyota FJ Cruiser, got a few dents in it. So um, yeah, let's use the dent removal kit, try and get those dents out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wash the car, um, wash the panel that I'm working on because we're going to use glue and the glue will stick better to a clean surface. So I've washed the panel. Um, now I'm gonna spray some wax and grease remover. In the kit, you get this board with some lines on it and a suction cup holder. This attaches to the panel and you look at the reflection of the lines and where the lines aren't straight, that will basically highlight the dent in the panel. It's a really good tool and it really makes the dent stick out. Now that I've put this board here, you can clearly see the dent in the door. So I've got one of the plastic tabs that I think is a good size. I'm going to put some glue on it, then attach it to the dent. That normally takes a few minutes and it's dry and ready to be pulled. So I'm going to use this puller tool. Um, now you can adjust it by just winding in the dial at the back and that will adjust where the actual puller connects. So you want to make sure that it's um, you know, lower than the surface of the panel. So I've attached the puller to the tab and uh, now I'm just going to tighten it so that the basically the, the, the tool holds up on its own. Then it's tight and ready to be pulled. Now we have some glue residue left over that's stuck onto the paint. They give you these spatulas to use to try and remove the glue, but some paint thinners on a rag actually works a lot better. The thinners melts the glue, it doesn't affect the paint, uh, melts the glue and eventually just dissolves and uh, is completely gone. This dent had a scratch in it with some touch up paint, so the thinners has actually wiped that off. So I'll need to touch this up a little later, but for now I'm going to try and tap in the high spot that's been made by pulling this out. And we'll do that now. Now using this uh, plastic applicator, you can see where the high spot is. As I drag it up the panel, you can see where the uh, surface is uneven. And this is just a good way to see where your dent is at at this point. Now I'm gonna use this dolly type tool. It's got a plastic tip. And I'm gonna use that to try and tap the dent down uh, with the hammer and the little plastic pin dolly. It's kind of hard to tell how hard you need to hit it. I'm just going soft to try and see if it works. Um, the idea is just to get it looking a lot better than what it was, so yeah. I'm happy with the dent now. It's pretty much mostly level. So I'm gonna put some touch-up paint over the scratch and that's just going to hide the dent. I think it looks a lot better than before. Okay, so that was the first time using this painless dent removal tool for me. So um, yeah, I wasn't 100% sure on um, how to use it, just did a little bit of research and found that this was the way to do it, pull the dent out and then try and tap it down a little bit more. Um, basically, it was a last resort. Um, I didn't really expect to fix the dent. Uh, I just wanted to make it look a bit better and I think that's what I've done. So yeah, one of these tools, um, this, this set, it's not very expensive. So yeah, I'll chuck the link in the description so you can buy it and yeah, try and pull out some dents. I, uh, I have a new car, I have a new daily. It's a Subaru Forester um, TS 
and I bought it second hand and it's got a few dents in it that I want to repair. Now I've called a professional painless dent removal guy, I'm high definition dent, he's come over and let's see how he pushes out dents. As you can see I've got dents like this all over the car so I've called in a professional to see how he removes these dents and what tools he uses. So a professional painless dent removal guy will have a massive chest of rods and bars, uh, different hammers and little dollies and especially these lights. The lights show up all the dents really well. He's mainly trying to push the dents out using the rods and tools rather than pulling them with the puller at risk of pulling the paint off the panel. Uh, he'll use different hammers and different dollies and rods to push the dents out from behind the panel. Sometimes if he can't get behind the panel, he'll use different tools to basically spread the, uh, the door apart and protect the glass and then shove a long rod in there and try and push the dent out that way. Basically all he needs to do is find a hole in the panel somewhere where he can shove the big rod in and push the dent out from behind the panel. Even on this rear quarter, he's pulled off the light, found a hole in the panel and was able to put the rod into the hole and push the dents out from behind the panel. Okay, so that was painless dent removal. Um, I hope it got, gave you a little bit of confidence to have a go yourself. Uh, I would definitely give this a go um, on a car that I didn't really care too much about, um, just as a way to kind of practice. But um, you can still get the dent working, looking a lot better than a dent. So it's worth a try. Otherwise, um, can't take anything away from the professional paint, paintless dent removal guys. They have years of experience and they know what they're doing. So you can't really buy a kit and expect to be as good as those guys. So yeah. Otherwise, um, yeah, hope you liked it. See you next time. What's happening next episode? I'm going to buff this car. There's swirl marks all over it. The person who had it before me washed it with a brick. So there's swirl marks um, all over the car. I'm gonna correct those swirl marks. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then I'm going to clean it and prepare it. I'm gonna apply some ceramic coating to the car and show you how to do that. And then, um, yeah, you can see how it's done and see the difference from a car that's been swelled and scratched to a corrected paintwork with the coating on it. See you next time. Okay, here's a great way to get rid of paint scuffs. So if you hit like a pole that's been painted um, and it transfers onto your body panels or your paint, then basically this is painted in two pack, so paint thinners is not going to harm it, but it should remove that rubbish that's on there. So a bit of uh, paint thinners, on a rag and oh, yeah, just rubs off. So before you think about putting touch up paint on your car, if it's some kind of paint transfer, get some thinners, wipe it off first, then apply some kind of sealant or you know paint protection on there again, because that'll take it off. So a bit of paint thinners fixes it right up.